great. There is no other option. And your NCAA champion, Rob Cruz. We're going back to Omaha. Play a high level of basketball and a game that's fun to watch. We are a team, you know, capital letters, team. He's now called national champion, which is really neat. Don't make it happen out there. Let's finish this thing on the field. Cavalier Sports Weekly is brought to you by GEICO, the Virginia Athletics Foundation, the Virginia Lottery, and by UVA Health System. On this edition of Cavalier Sports Weekly. To be a part of this, what's going on, you know, with this team, it's just uh, it's truly amazing. Welcome to Cavalier Sports Weekly. I'm Robert Randolph, number three on the football team. On today's show, we'll preview our game against Virginia Tech, but first, let's take a look at our game at Florida State. As we talked about, run to the roar. The crowd, the noise, and all that stuff, that's all it is. Let's go! Run to the roar! We belong here! Yes, sir. We control our own destiny! We decide when and where we will go! Right here, this team, right now! Every step! Let's go! Let's go! Virginia with four down line, an offset eye formation. They'll hand the ball off on a reverse coming to the far Look side out. right. Rashad Green with blockers in front across the 40, 45, 50. He's across the 40 of Virginia. Now the far sideline right finally wrestled down by Corey Mosley. Man in motion coming from left to right behind him. He'll take the snap. Here comes the pressure, and he's going to be sacked, and the ball's on the turf. See who's got it. There's a dog pile. Virginia football. Rocco out of the gun, takes the snap, a four-man rush. He's rolling to his right, looking downfield. Now he's going to have to scramble to the opposite side again. He's got some green in front of him. Now he's going to throw it to the near side. Tim Smith bobbles it and holds on to the 45. That's a first down. Behind him, offset left. Two receivers to the right, one to the left. A straight drop back. He's lobbing. He wants Jones. End zone. The ball is caught. Touchdown, Virginia. What a job by Superman again. They say you don't spit in the wind, you don't pull on Superman's cape, and what a job by Perry Jones as Virginia has touched the scoreboard first. He takes the snap, a delayed handoff. This is going to be Thomas with some room to run across the field, across the 45 to the 40. He's down to the 35 and knocked to his feet. Defensive lineman to potentially be a lead blocker. They're going to fake the handoff. Manuel throw it to the end zone, got a man open, and that ball is caught. Touchdown, Florida State. He'll take the snap, seven-step drop. Time to throw, man wide open. He hits free for the tight end, rumbling down the far sideline, 45-50. Knocked out of bounds with a Florida State 48. Went to receiver right. Seven-step drop, pocket collapses. He's going down again. Sacked to the 30, 26-yard field goal attempt. Snap is off, hold is down, kick is up. This one has plenty of height. That one is right through the uprights. And Florida State has taken its first lead of the game. It's now 10-7. The four-man rush from Virginia. He throws over the middle, got a man wide open. Reed reaches up, snares it in across the 40 to the 35. He can go. He's at the 15, 10. He's dragged down at the three-yard line by Chase Menefield. Put him down at the one. You know, that, that that's why he's an All-American. That, that That's why, to me, He's, he's a, you know, he's a first team all ACC, all American type of guy because he's made big plays like that game after game after game. Of 21 yards, there's the spot, kick is up, it's on the way and it's good. So Hopkins puts it through, but it could have been a lot worse. I think you have to size that up as a victory for the Cavaliers. Go two receivers to either side, takes the snap, Virginia sends the blitz, he's got to get rid of it, he's going to be sacked! Sacked to the 45 by Steve Greer, who comes up with what could be the biggest sack of his career. He's got two receivers to his right, two to the left, and an empty backfield. Takes the snap, here comes the blitz, steps up, got to get rid of it, finds Jones, Jones makes the catch across the 30, races out of bounds after a nine-yard Gain. He takes the snap, another blitz. Pocket holds up. He's going long. He wants Tim Smith makes the catch of the 35. Falls.
Rolls down to the 32 of Florida State, and Virginia is moving the football, 139 to go. Yeah, I mean, uh, we just had the belief and the confidence that we were going to do it. Uh, I mean, football is a crazy game. Uh, sometimes you're on, and sometimes they're stopping you. And uh, I mean, it just goes to show how the growth of this team and how uh, we come out believing that we're going to win. And we believed in that last drive, and we did it. Single back set. Perry Jones in the backfield. Smith wide left. Bird wide right. Play action pass. Rocco looking downfield. He's got a man wide open. What a catch. Perry Jones holds it in on the near sideline left. Knocked down at the 10. Million now lines up in the backfield. I formation. He'll take the snap. Hands the ball off. Clark's dancing through defenders. He's in. Touchdown, Virginia. The Cavaliers have tied it up. Point after touchdown pending with 1.16 to go. The thing I'm most proud of is with our guys is, is when it came time to, that we had to go and, and we tell you try to tell them all game, okay, you have to go on this drive, but I guess they waited until they really had to go at the end. Uh, but they, we, we executed when we needed it and sometimes in this game you need 38 to win and sometimes you need 14 and we got it. They're 31 yards away from the long kick of the season for Hopkins. Here's a quick pass. That's complete to the 44, but a quick tackle from Nicholson. Man. There's the snap. Virginia rushes six. Here comes the pressure. He's scrambling. He's going to be tackled on the backfield. A flag comes down. It looks like it's a face mask. Out of the shotgun. Manuel takes the snap. They'll hand it off. This is Thomas straight ahead. He plows ahead to the 30. And one man on the backfield with him. He takes the snap. Here comes the blitz. He's going to throw it. Going on the sideline. He lobs to the end zone. It's incomplete. What a job by Draquan Hosky. Out of the shotgun, Virginia again sets the blitz. Quick pass, near side, that ball's caught, but inbounds at the 26. He didn't catch the well, ball. Well, Frank, if he doesn't catch that ball, the clock has stopped. A 42-yard field goal try now for Hopkins. This is well within his range. There's the snap, the hold is down, kick is up, got the distance. That kick is it's no good! good. He missed All it! Right. He missed it! Wow! Virginia's gonna win anyway! Unbelievable! We'll call it again for the first time in school history. Virginia will win here in Tallahassee in the wildest, inconceivable finish of a game you could ever see. You know, it's, it's a, I'm honored. I'm very humbled and I'm honored to be, to be a part of this, what's going on, you know, with this team. It's just, uh, it's truly amazing. And I love you guys, man. That's, that's no, the part. Of a champion right there. Yeah, right. Hey. I told you. Press it was going to be like David and Goliath running yeah. there. Yeah. Yeah. We ran to the roar. Yeah. 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 Now listen, enjoy this. Because we got one more. To oh. This portion of Cavalier Sports Weekly is brought to you by GEICO. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Welcome back to Cavalier Sports Weekly. This week, we will take on in-state rival Virginia Tech. Here's a preview of the game. Okay, here we are, back inside the office, taking a look at uh, Virginia Tech. We're going to take a look at film and uh, give you an idea of what, uh, what we're facing and what we have to game plan for. Wilson is number four. He's a running back. We'll see some formations with some shifts, and change of motion. Um, you'll see right here as, as Wilson gets the ball, you want to see, look at the, the individual effort that he makes here. Um, spins, has great balance, stays on his feet, and, uh, and gets a 14-yard gets a gain there. Here, number 86, Eric Martin, does a great job getting downfield and providing a block for a running back to cut off of. You know, what they do is they, 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 they give great effort to, uh, uh, not only the primary up front block, but the downfield block, getting to the secondary and block uh, linebackers and safeties. There's pulling guards and, and you know, misdirection going all over the place, but uh, it's a play that's designed for him to run the ball. So again, they have opportunities for, for him to hand it off to Wilson and then also for the quarterback to run the ball. Here's the Miami game. Towards the end of the game, this was the play that won it for him. Same type of scheme, provide a little bit of uh, you know, guard pull, 
fake the zone read one way, quarterback pulls it, and uh, takes off and wins the game for him. So this is going to be a great game. Um, you know, they got a good, good offense. We have a good defense. They have a fantastic defense. We have a good offense. And so I think it's going to be important that the, the team that controls the ball um, can limit the big plays by the other team. And uh, you, know, there, you know there's going to be passion and energy played in this game. It, it always is, you know, when you have a rival game. But this game is for the Coastal Division champion and gives this, this team, the, the, the team that wins this game, the right to play for the ACC championship. So hopefully all you uh, Orange and Blue Cavalier fans will be out there cheering us on. We'll see you at the game. This portion of Cavalier Sports Weekly is brought to you by UVA Health System, dedication beyond measure. Men's basketball travel to the Virgin Islands for the Paradise Jam. Let's take a look at their experience in the islands. Three to shoot, two to shoot, Thorns down the lane, threw up a wild runner that goes off the glass and goes. We even played good stretches of defense for 30 seconds on the shot clock and they battled and then the last five seconds, whether it was Thorns making some big plays, you know, you need guys to do that, just take over or we just couldn't finish the possession out. I thought some guys got discouraged too easily if it was, you know, a missed free throw, a turnover, or we got backdoored a few times. 48-45, TCU. Driving on Zaglinski, Thorns in the lane, pull up jumper, good. Boy, that's tough. Anderson, the freshman at the line. Right hand. In and out, no good. Rebound, grabbed by J.R. Cadeau, layup, and it's good. Gotta kill you. Those are the plays at the end you just gotta come up with when you're scrapping to come back. And uh, it, it's, the kids didn't quit. Uh, they, they played hard, but we always talk about there's got to be execution to it. And they executed more than we did or made big plays down the stretch throughout the game, uh, certainly more than we did. And that's uh, something we'll keep trying to improve on. With 11, with 10, Evans, right wing to Harris for a three. Good. With 7.2, Virginia is down by two with 7.2 seconds. Full court pressure. Butler Look looking up. deep. That's a steal. Stolen by Evans with five seconds to Harris. Harris for three. Short. Battle for the rebound. Still battle. And the shot. No. Is there a foul or does TCU win? And they're going to wave it off and say TCU wins off the scramble for the basketball. I told them before the game, whoever wants this one the most is going to get this one. Massonet feeds to Givens. Tried to go inside to McCoy. He'll catch it deep. And Mustang destroys that offering with his left hand. They were sharp defensively with our post trap and uh, making it hard for them to score. And then offensively, we were sharp early. He gets it back and just kicks it left wing to Evans. Gives to Mike Scott, left side of the lane. Fadeaway jumper from 15 is good for Mike Scott. Zaglinski down the left side of the floor. Gives left baseline. Brogdon open jumper in and out, no good. Scott got the rebound. Fires up the layup, good with the right hand. 20 to 10. Timeout, Bruiser Flint. He had a nice composure about himself, and I thought that was a good to see him, you know, step to the line, knock the free throws down, make some big buckets. And I know he was frustrated with some of the ones he missed, but part of that hopefully is just kind of getting back into that timing and that game shape that is, uh, you know, that you miss when you don't play for a year. Harris looks for Kozaglinski, diving the left side of the lane, missed it, and Mike Scott flushes it with the right hand follow. 13 in the game for the senior. KT Harrell at the top of the key. Goes left wing to Zaglinski for three, no good. Shot fake, improves his position. Jumper right baseline, in and out, no good. To Jontel Evans, Evans to Harrell. Pull up three in transition, in and out, no good. Virginia, folks, has three points in the second half. 31 to 25, seven, 10 to play. Right wing to Joe Harris, Harris. Back at the top of the key, a deep three, straight on. Joe Harris buries it right down Main Street. 36-27, Cavaliers by nine. Virginia will earn its first win in the Paradise Jam. They bounce back from a loss to TCU, and they win it 49-35. to Last year was Maui, this year is Virgin Islands. Both great places. It's like back of a postcard, basically, it's just beautiful. Coach Bennett's daughter, Anna, was with me on the Ferris wheel. She was basically scaring me the whole way, so I got off. One of 
them back home uh, in Chelan that I had uh, done a couple of times before. It's awesome. You just kind of hit the bungee and the bungee cords pull you up. Depending on how hard you push off, I guess, you go, I don't know how high it was, maybe like 15 feet. It's fun. Woo! Woo! Yeah, boy! Yeah, boy! We're all really close. It's a really close-knit group. For all of us to just come out here and, uh, you know, have a day where we get to go swimming, come up here and do this type of stuff. It's just a great, you know, team bonding experience, and we all really enjoy it. He'll use the screen from Hassan Sin and turn the corner. Brogdon attacks all the way to the rim, and the Red Sea parts as he drops it in with the right hand. 36 to 20, Virginia by 16. Harrell backing up now against the man-to-man, -man, threw it out of bounds. All of a sudden, a couple of those empty possessions we talked about came, and we really got shaky. And maybe in the past, we wouldn't have been able to recover, but I thought after we finally calmed down, we had to break the press, we had to make free throws. Evans turns the corner and gives left wing to Mitchell. Lobs for Scott. Scott double teamed on the left baseline, dumps off to Brogdon. What a beautiful pass and a reverse finish. He'll use the screen and roll from Mike Scott. Evans attacks, kicks to Harris. A three, right corner, money in the bank. They needed that one. They'll say long two. Long two for Harris. 44-36, Virginia by eight. I think Joe established himself at the end of the game against Drexel. And I thought he established himself at the end of the game today. Mike also did in those two games in his ways, so that was important to see those guys step up. Mike Scott on the baseline, backing in, drop step to the right baseline, a little runner with the right hand is good on the turnaround. You always say it's a fine line, and you're, you're never as far away as you think from getting to be that team you want, and you're quite never as close, so it's just that continual journey we're on. Now we got some, some certainly some experience in our back pocket. Women's basketball welcomed Power Tennessee to John Paul Jones Arena. Here are the highlights. And we are underway. It's knocked backwards, and Virginia has got the first possession of the game. Crosby throws it left side. Kirsten fires for three. They want it. They, they really want it. And it's one thing to say you want it, and it's another thing to go out there and work every day for it. And they do. Finds Gerson. No look to McCall on the baseline. Fired it off the window. Good from a low angle. And then we got to push and look for transition in that. But everybody's got to run, and we got to protect the ball in transition. Running out the play. Pass intercepted. It is Atara Franklin running the pass break. Three on one for Virginia. Franklin to the hoop. Right handed layup. Everybody in that locker room believed we could win that game, and um, that's no disrespect to Tennessee. They're an unbelievable program, but the way you build a program is to be, put belief and trust in each other, and that's what this team has done. Person running out of time here. Feet down low. Pits a long one. Yes! This, this game was just about heart and preparation and you know love for each other, commitment to each other, and uh, I think that this goes to show that the hard work and the program that we're buying into is, is worth it. Driving into the paint, Crosby goes up strong. Crosby on the baseline with five on the shot clock. Crosby doesn't see it. Now drives to the paint. Crosby right handed. Oh, Pops it out to Ariana Moore. Defender overcommitted. Some more steps up. Pops and scores. I just saw us mature. I'll be honest. In that last five minutes, you know, our seniors took over. I mean, you know. Um, and I know China's not a senior, you know, she came down, hit some big free throws for us, but there was a maturity about us in that last five minutes that, um, you know, they punched and we punched back. With five seconds, Spady pulls up top of the arc, left-handed shot is good with two seconds. Virginia inbounds on the far sideline, Crosby outrunning the defense, and Virginia has got it. They have upset Tennessee, they're celebrating at midcourt, and Joanne Boyle's Cavaliers cannot be stopped. We'll get them off the high, and we'll go back in the gym, and we'll start grinding like we always do. Coming up after the break.
This portion of Cavalier Sports Weekly is brought to you by the Virginia Athletics Foundation. You are the foundation. Women's soccer continues to have success in the NCAA tournament. Here are the highlights. The biggest thing for, for our team right now is, is our, our decisions have been that we've really raised the level of our decision making. The first goal um, obviously gives you momentum and obviously we got two more goals within the next five minutes so that was really important. We kind of came out with a chip on our shoulder. We were really bitter about our early exit last year. We thought we should have gone further. And so just from day one at preseason, we put that into practice. Every single practice coming out competitive and focused. The fourth goal was just too great. You know, and Erica's in, she could get a shot, but she kind of shimmies and then she finds Morgan going in. And Morgan could have shot, but she fakes and gives herself a better look. So I'm kind of just along for the ride right now. They've been playing some great soccer and uh, very happy to be moving on, that's for sure. We'll be back next week with more game highlights and stories from Virginia Athletics. And until next time, go Hoos! Cavalier Sports Weekly is brought to you by GEICO. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. And by Virginia Lottery, helping Virginia's public schools. And by the UVA Health System, dedication beyond measure. And by the Virginia Athletics Foundation. You are the foundation.